Princess Polly, Pirate by Andrea Kazmarek Princess Pollyanna Marigold has a busy week. On Mondays she has dancing class. Princesses must know all kinds of dances and never ever step on anybody's toes. On Tuesday she has reading and writing lessons. Princesses must be very neat and read oh so perfectly. On Wednesdays she rides out with her mother Queen Serena. They ride in a coach and wave at people. Princesses must wave properly, not too slow and not too fast. In fact, just right. On Thursdays, she has all the other things that princesses should do. Sewing, singing, good manners, walking and talking like a princess. And so much smiling. On Fridays, Princess Polly, she likes that best. She stands with her father King Archibald and her mother Queen Serena to say hello to the people who want to tell them something or show them something. Today there is a baker who wants them to taste his new bread. It tastes so much better than any other bread in the country. The baker bows low and hands out little slices of bread. I wish to call it Queen Serena bread, then everybody will want to buy it. The king coughs and nibbles the bread. It really is good bread, but is it a good idea to use the queen's name? Of course, the baker smiles. I will bring fresh breakfast bread to the palace every day. The next in line was Captain Jack Perkins and his daughter, Petronella Perkins. Your Majesty, the captain coughed too. I am sailing tomorrow to find treasure and invite you and your family to visit our ship before we sail, for good luck. The captain waved a treasure map. If we find the treasure, we will, of course, give Your Majesty first pick of the jewels. The king smiled. The queen leaned to Princess Polly and whispered, some people say Captain Jack is a pirate. Princess Polly looked at Petronella Perkins and Petronella winked at her. The king looked at his wife and Princess Polly did something she really shouldn't do. She jumped up and down and clapped her hands and squeaked, please, 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 can we go? I've never seen a big ship. The next day, the king, the queen and Princess Polly went to wave goodbye to the Golden Sea Dog. That was the name of the ship. Captain Jack gave them a tour and when it was time to leave, Petronella winked at Polly again and whispered, If you want an adventure, hide in here. She had made a space in a big pile of rope. Polly didn't think twice. She tucked her dress into her knickers and hid in the middle of the giant pile of rope. The king and queen didn't notice that Princess Polly wasn't with them until the ship was sailing. Polly called and waved, I'm fine, I'll be back in a few days. Captain Jack called, In time for tea, but he didn't say which day. Petronella found her some pirate clothes. Fancy princess dresses are no good on a pirate ship. Oh, Princess Polly opened her eyes wide. So you are pirates? And everybody laughed. Life on a pirate ship is not the same as life in a pretty pink palace, Captain Jack told her. Now the ship was sailing out into the wide, wild sea. The king and queen were jumping up and down and getting very cross with everybody. And Princess Polly was seasick. Ah, she cried, standing at the railing, being very seasick indeed. The pirates all laughed. It's normal, Petronella told her. We all get seasick for a day or two. Princess Polly turned green and didn't believe her. Life on a pirate ship is tough. In the morning, Polly had to scrub the decks. Then she had to peel the potatoes for the pirate mashed potatoes and make great big piles of sandwiches. Pirates are always hungry. Then she had to climb high up into the crow's nest to watch out for other ships. It was good that she could sew. The sails always need somebody to stitch up the holes. I'm not so sure this pirate life is so good, she told Petronella. But we should reach the treasure island tomorrow. They both laughed, better than scrubbing decks and peeling potatoes. Ahoy, land in sight, Fish Face called from the top sail. It looks like Dogbone Island. All the pirates, Fish Face, Peg Leg, Dirty Jim and Jolly Roger cheered and Captain Jack got out the treasure map. Dogbone Island was a small island. It shouldn't be hard to find the treasure, Captain Jack called all the pirates together. I think you're holding the map upside down, Polly whispered. North is at the top and south is at the bottom. All the pirates jumped into the small sailing boat. Shouldn't we take something to dig for the treasure, Polly asked. Dirty Jim nodded and picked up some spades and an axe. We might have to chop trees down too. Polly and Petronella joined them in the boat. They left Jolly Roger and the cat to look after the pirate ship. Dogbone Island isn't very big, 
and the treasure map said that the treasure was in the middle of the island, ten steps from a banana tree. But there are lots of banana trees, Polly looked around. All the pirates were fed up. Let's sit down, eat some bananas and think hard, Polly told Captain Jack. And that's what they did. But thinking hard isn't easy for pirates, and they didn't like bananas so much. Look at that banana tree, Polly pointed. Why has that tree gotten only a few bananas on it? And it looks smaller too. All the other trees are full of bananas. All the pirates puzzled and Captain Jack shouted out loud, Clever girl, Polly, maybe our treasure is buried near it so it doesn't grow like the others. Can I see the treasure map again, please? Polly was thinking hard. She looked hard at the map for a long time and at last said, Pirates don't have very good writing, do they? I don't think that this squiggle says steps. I think it says skins. Captain Jack, Petronella and all the other pirates looked at the map. It could be. Captain Jack frowned. The writing is really terrible. It even says Dugbone Island, but we worked that bit out ourselves. The next bit was easy. They had all eaten bananas, so there were plenty of banana skins. After a lot of digging, at last they found it, an old box full of pirates' treasure, silver, gold and jewels. This is the famous treasure of Captain Silver Hook. My grandfather gave me this map, but nobody really believed that it was real. My grandfather played lots of jokes on me. Polly, Petronella, Captain Jack and the pirates walked back through Dogbone Island carrying the treasure and as many bananas as they could carry. From then on, Polly made the pirates banana and honey sandwiches and gave them all handwriting lessons. When they arrived back, the king and queen were waiting for them. Captain Jack had sent a seagull with a message. Princess Polly was grounded for a week, but the king was pleased with his share of the treasure. Which we wouldn't have found without clever Polly, Captain Jack told him. But she was still grounded for a week. Petronella and Polly stayed friends. Petronella spent her holidays at the palace and Polly couldn't wait to hear all about her pirate adventures. The End Thank you for reading with storyberries.com Free stories for kids.